What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Hold on, this thing is foggy. Um, so yeah, today we're gonna be well, not today. Um, hold on, what's wrong with my camera? Okay, um, we're gonna be pretty much taking the manifold off because I'll be doing plugs, coil packs this week. Um, hopefully. The valve cover gaskets for the spark plugs aren't bad so that i can just order the gaskets and change the gaskets on the valve covers all right guys so today's plans is just gonna be a two-day job just because i don't have the parts with me right now i'm going to get them tomorrow so you know take manifold off obviously take your cover off intakes and then pretty much everything that's connected in the back um i'm gonna delete all that just like i did with my hr so it's just, you know, um, just a lot cleaner back there. There's too many things going on back there. And then I'm going to see if I have time today to clean the engine bay. This engine bay has never been cleaned. Like, for sure. Like, I don't think this engine bay has ever been cleaned. For it to be this dirty, kind of wild. But, um, so yeah, let's get started. All right, guys, quick update. I already had the intakes off. All right, guys, moment of truth. I'm about to got the throttle body, throttle body off. Gonna pull out the uh, coil pack. Hopefully, it doesn't have any oil. So, this cylinder that I'm putting on right here, which is cylinder four, is the one that was throwing a, a misfire. So, let's check. Like I said, guys, the valve cover. I mean, I'll show you the other. Let me show you this side. You guys see that? See all that gunk? The valve cover is leaking. And you can just see the oil getting onto the heat shield of the of the headers. Yeah, it's leaking pretty bad. Um, so yeah, just pull this thing out and get it over with. Okay guys, um, got it off. Oh wow. So you can see this is, well the best thing is right here now that it's dry. It is dry. And honestly, that's great. Yeah, this is this is not even OEM uh, coil packs. Uh, you're gonna have to change your coil packs. Please use OEM stuff. You guys, I don't know if you guys see very well in there. It's dry, which that is great freaking news. And I don't know if this was causing the misfire because it came apart when I pulled it off. I don't think it was you know like this when I pulled it on. Oh well, and it's a little bit burnt here. Yep, look at all the burnt marks. I even smell the burnt. It just completely like just came apart. Look at this. Springs came off. So I'm picking up uh, coil packs tomorrow. Like I said, um, I'm I just need to order uh, gaskets for the valve cover, which I will be using OEM only. Just um, you know, do it once and do it right with the correct stuff, and you'll be fine. So, yeah, I still gotta remove the valve covers, gotta change the gaskets on it. So, I'm gonna just take everything off. And that's pretty much it. Just wait till tomorrow, crank it up. And this got me a little bit worried right here. As you guys can see, it's a little bit wet. I'm not sure that thing is leaking fuel or, or I don't know. But uh, when I turn on the car tomorrow, I'll just keep an eye on it, make sure it's not leaking fuel. But, great news we don't need to order valve covers at least not for this side we'll check this side when i have everything apart and we'll go from there all right guys quick update got everything off well not everything i still gotta take the valve covers off but um yeah that is pretty nasty in there that's why i need a pcv delete or a cash can or some shit look how dirty that shit is and it's always the last one that's clean for some reason um anyways uh got everything off you see all these all these hoses here these hard lines you can delete all of that there's no need for all that extra shit all those uh, throttle body cooling lines like bro you don't need that uh so we got that done uh now i'm just gonna start taking the valve covers off gotta move a couple things gotta move not really move just unclip these 
uh, injector harness, same with this side. Take a couple of uh, cam sensors off. And that's a part, pretty much it, yeah. Everything else is just uh, 10 mil bolts. And then we'll just wait till tomorrow. Hopefully the dealership has the gaskets in stock. And we could have this car uh, pretty much ready for tomorrow with an oil change. And yeah, and then give uh, this engine bay a wash. So yeah, let me keep taking this off. Like I said, guys, all you have to do is move this harness out the way and clip it here. And once you do that, it's pretty much frees up, of course. Um, these coil packs, I'm just gonna automatically just throw them away. They're not OEM, so no wonder they failed. And then after that, uh, we should be good. And then I'm gonna do a PCV delete on it too as well. Just clean up some stuff in the engine bay. All right, guys, it's currently the next day. And I just took the driver's side of valve cover off. I couldn't finish yesterday because it started raining. So, yeah, I don't got my blue tiles that I normally use. Gotta go to AutoZone and re-up on those. But, um, yeah. I just wanna show you real quick how it looks under here. Doesn't look horrible. Not the best. My HR was definitely a lot cleaner than that. But um, it could also depend that's also because maybe you're late on the oil changes or also depending on the oil that you use but uh yeah guys uh so here's the gasket super super stiff look at that look at that it just broke right now how hard it is it's not supposed to break of course because when they're brand new they're all you know flexible and brand new so once they get hard they don't do their job anymore. Same with the ones inside. Uh, I'm not sure if these are bad, but either way, when you buy the gaskets, I think it comes with both. <sighs> yeah, that's bad too. Just broke off. Uh, and then I'm gonna clean all this up because I'm full of oil and shit freaking musty and then right now it's super early i always wake up early i don't know i know that's a good thing bad thing but it's currently 8.05 nissan doesn't open to nine so i still got a little bit while um what i'm gonna probably start doing is deleting those hard lines in the back and uh, i think other than that, I can't do anything else until Nissan opens up and until I pick up the coil packs, which is at 10. Uh, what a, mm, yeah, that's about it. All right, guys, quick little update. Uh, just got the parts. Here are Z1 coil packs. OEM uh, valve cover gaskets for the valve cover, of course. And I already put the new ones on, so here they are. That's a new gasket. Um, before installing them, just clean up the surface. All that. All that gunk you see. All that old uh, gasket maker you see right there. And then just apply new gasket to the corners, which is going to be uh, there where you see gasket. Right there, we see the old one. And same thing goes for the back side. And yeah, same thing with the other side, and you should be good. So now I'm just gonna put everything back together and we should be good to go. I don't know if you guys can see very well. I don't know if the GoPro's catching it, but you see the header there, full of oil. Just is spilling on top of the header, both sides. I mean, this side wasn't, you still see right here in this corner, but yeah, this side was worse. So I'll probably buy some brake cleaner. I'll get all that off and then yeah that's it so let's get to it all right guys i'm sorry the quality changed but i'm using my phone now because uh, my gopro is dying so we got the valve covers on i already got my new plugs on the old plugs i mean they weren't they weren't horrible but um yeah uh i got these same ones again the ngk 
it was like 65 bucks part number right there it's like oem spec so there we come pre-gapped so now i just gotta put the cold packs on do the little bypass for the like the throttle body lines all the lines that i deleted so you see this hose right here so you connect the hose here and it goes let me show you guys it goes this to this port right here you see it right here and that's it all those lines get deleted and yeah so let me get the coil packs on all right guys I actually got all done uh you know it was about to rain again like it, i don't know mammy was it's weird um but all done it sounds so much better than the first day that misfire that misfire it had last time was just horrible um sounds super healthy honestly quiet um all that smoke that you see coming out i don't know the camera is catching it it's just the all the oil on the headers that was on there i didn't clean it off so it's just gonna burn out with time so I'm gonna go take it for a test drive. Hopefully the trance is good. Let's quickly drive around the block. Uh, it's idling super fine now. Uh, these brakes kind of feel smushy. I have a better view now, um, but yeah. These brakes, I don't know, they have to, either, I'm just used to my Akibonos, but these brake shields trash. Okay, shifted it in second. Shifted into third. It's a five speed tranny, guys, so it's not the seven speed like the D37. Shifted into fourth. I need to catch more speed but um shifted pretty fine probably needs a tra uh, trans mount but other than that i mean guys for the price that i bought it it's definitely gonna get more maintenance though and i don't want to push it or anything because i haven't done the the oil change on it oh yeah it's, it's shifting it's shifting nice Oh yeah, look at this guy. More birds. Yeah, these brakes, I don't know if it's just the base brakes or, God damn, it's so soft. My Kibonos on my G, on my Z. But uh, yeah, guys, driving perfect. I mean, not perfect, still need some stuff, but it drives. Oh, yeah. I didn't even feel that trans. Oh, yes, sir. Guys, you can't even hear this car being on. Like, do you guys hear it on the video? I don't. <laughs> this car does not even sound like it's on. Yeah, guys, Copar G, successful, driving good. Now it's time for upgrades. Uh, since I think I'm gonna start on the exterior first, and then we'll move on to the interior. But for now, she's staying like this, in the inside, and now we're gonna make moves for the exterior. So yeah, guys, um, pretty much it for the video. I'm sorry if it's a little long and boring. But, um, hey, we got more content for the channel. Now we got two cars. And, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoy the video.